Hey, welcome back to the show. This is The Pulse. My name is Gifty Ando Apia. We've got our own special Pulse poll on the public, on who the public trusts to investigate the bribery scandal in Parliament. But before we bring you the results, let's go on the streets to hear what people have to say about this. The members themselves, they know the truth. Those who call themselves honorables, they should be honorable enough to come out with the truth. One party says I gave the money, another person says I didn't take the money. They, they themselves, they know the truth between themselves, so they should come out with the truth, be honorable, ask their title is, and come out with the truth, and clear this, this thing off. Do you begin to have doubts about uh, the work of these parliamentarians as a result of these allegations that have come up? The, the past government was booted out because of allegations of corruption and people didn't trust the government again. So if the, these issues come up again, then people don't really have to trust the, the parliamentarians as we have to trust them. When it comes to trust, would you also recommend the parliamentarians investigate themselves out of these allegations or you will prefer an independent body coming? It will be good to have an independent body to investigate, but at the moment, which body will you recommend? Shraj, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe if they have the mandate to investigate uh, Parliament, we can somebody can lodge a complaint and then they take up the matter. Up. Would you trust the outcome if they do the investigations themselves? We have to see. If you people are there, that's the trusted house of the uh, the country. You make laws for us to, and you have this type of small, small money. 30,000 30, 30, is money, but it is not much money. For somebody to influence an MP or somebody, a leader of a listen uh, uh, committee. Somebody is giving you this money to, no, to do what? So I don't, I'm, I'm even doubting if the story is true. In the, the, the entire story? Yeah. You think there was uh, some Yes, some fall somewhere. Because if it is On that... part of who? All of them. If somebody is saying that we entered the office of this man to sit now, or somebody brought an envelope. If you don't know the contents of the envelope, why do you receive it? Uh -huh. You don't know. Uh, as you come and you can't give me an envelope and we haven't discussed anything. I, I see envelope and I take it. If even I know money is there. No. But why would you think somebody would want to make this whole thing up? And that is where I'm saying I don't believe it. So there is something into it, so they should investigate. Okay. So when it comes to the investigation, yes. would you... Uh, it should be should, an independent body. Mm -hmm. Yes, it shouldn't be uh, among the, uh, this in the parliament house or whatsoever. It should be an independent body. That would be better. What about if the parliamentarians investigate themselves? Parliamentarians investigating themselves, they are all parliamentarians and we know them to like themselves. <laughs> yes, ask them if they said they are increasing their salary, who say no? They like themselves. If I will be asked to choose, I think uh, an independent body could, could, could do that. Because maybe, I don't know, maybe if uh, they come together and do it themselves, maybe still there could be some... Uh, whatever, I don't know. There, there could be some things inside them. Uh, yes, yes. I think uh, the independent body will be better. Yes. But what do you make of all these allegations, bribery allegations going on amongst members of parliament on the vetting committee? Well, uh, the thing is, what I heard this morning was that I, I think I heard uh, uh, Honorable Kujetua Blackwa. He was saying that the man, my, my minority, they were giving uh, money and he, they thought it was uh, allowances, uh, but later on they heard that it was bribery, so they decided to give it back. So I was, I was a bit confused. <laughs> uh, if it is uh, allowance, they would have told you that this is allowance. Uh, and if it is bribery, they would have also mentioned it, that this is uh, bribery. But, well, I, I still don't know. I think, uh, like, like we said earlier on, uh, an independent body should investigate. Well, I think there should be an independent body which has to be set to investigate whether there's a true, there's a truth in the matter because it's like everybody's saying there's uh, corruption somewhere and we believe that it, now that uh, the new president is saying he wants to uh, elevate uh, corruption, we believe that there should be some body that, was, that will be set aside to investigate so that we will know the truth. 
and Ghanaians will be free because if they now just that they are about, about to start you know work and we've started hearing things about corruption i think it means that people will lose hope in the government so i believe there should be investigation into it well the issue must investigate through an independent body from the parliamentarian caucus for us to know as Ghanaians, before we have trust on them but if we hear all this then it looks like now we don't have trust on them Mm, so. But if a committee is set up mm. from parliament to investigate this issue, would you be comfortable with it? Because the members who come from within the same members. Yes. You'll be okay with yeah. it? Yeah. How about an independent body from outside to come and investigate what's happening? Well, it's also a factor. But all the same, you know, the players themselves are within the parliament. So if an outsider referee comes, Sometimes you don't even find it clearly than the inner part because after all, not all of them enjoy the booty. Welcome back to the show. Like I said, we've got our own special Paul Spo. You heard what people on the street say. They all seem to be saying one thing, that there has to be an independent body. But who is that independent body? Who do we trust as the Ghanaian people to investigate this matter? And of course, the question that we put on our social media is who do you trust to investigate the vetting bribery scandal in Parliament? And we've got our own uh, list for people to choose from. We've got Parliament we got Straj, and we've got the police, the BNI, and Iyoko. And then we ask people to explain their choice. And like I said, I'm going to tell you uh, what the, the, the coalition of our own, uh, of, of the comments are. But let me just quickly read to you some of the comments that have come up. Abdallah Banda is our first person to comment. He says, this investigation... Um, will not amount to anything. If I'm not mistaken, Ayarga said they, the minority, agreed that they will not take anything this time around, which suggests to me that it is something that has been going on in Parliament. Some kind of, quote, scratch my back and I scratch your thing has been going on in Parliament. Let me ask this. Why can't any money be, be paid to members of Parliament, be paid directly into their account? So that's uh, a question that you ask. Enoch Techi says none of them can be trusted because apart from parliament's which in itself can be biased all the others are under the control of government and for that matter majority we need independent people like Manasseh Azuri and Anas very interesting points you make there uh, who else has an interesting point Ateba Raymond says parliament should not be allowed to investigate on this bribery allegation you cannot ask a victim of a crime to investigate himself and the outcome will surely be negative. The best should be God. Okay, so you're basically saying that God should. But how does God investigate this matter? That's what we're all uh, working our head around. Mendes or say Bongo. And mind you, we've got a lot of comments on this particular uh, question um, that we put out there. Mendes says they are all human institutions. And for that matter, not perfect. I strongly believe what man does today, he will surely account for it tomorrow. So their cups will be full. God day. You're basically saying that for Miami as we like to say here in, in Ghana. Davis Forsen says, why should someone investigate this matter? They should look at their position, age, and be honest a bit to themselves and Ghanaians as a whole. Why should it happen so? Are they kids? I beg, they should give us a break. Harun Idrisu, uh, not, not the Harun Idrisu in Parliament, by the way, says, none other than Anas, Arimiyao Anas, because he has eagle eyes that is so smart, uh, smarter, he says, but smart, than our Ghanaian politicians. This, these politicians, I believe you want to say, are so smart, they only the eagle eye can stop them from maneuvering their ways. And the eagle eye he's talking about, Anas Aramia, Anas investigative uh, journalist. Uh, Benny Jemfi says he wants to do um, the investigation himself, but we can move on to some other comment. And like I said, we've got lots and lots of comments on this. And we put all of them together and we'll give you the verdict at the end of this. Hakman Chayman says, I don't trust any of them. And by any of them, he means that the people, the institutions that we listed, the police, the BNI, IOKO, and Parliament itself. He says, 
I don't trust any of them, considering the, considering the sensitive nature of the issue, there can be possible compromise. I recommend that the elements involved in the subject matter should initiate court action. Well, Mr. Boache Jacko himself says he's, he'll be going to court. People have been saying that um, the, 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 the leader, the chairman of the appointment committee, Joe Osewusu, perhaps will also go to court. Uh, Mark says, says, none, all these mentioned institutions or individuals can never be trusted. The only institution I have trust in is the law court and more importantly, the Supreme Court. All these listed institutions are politically electrified. They will either do it to favor NDC or NPP. Frank Wunsumi says, I don't, basically saying you don't trust any of them can do justice to the issue, but an external prosecutor will be okay just like what happened in the USA and in Canada. So there's massive mistrust in the institutions that we put out there to do justice to this matter. I move on to some other comments whilst we put together, uh, whilst we collate uh, together the opinions and who they trust. Michael Kekari Ajumai says, we do not trust any. And Tuanyama should be used. The above named institutions are made up of human beings and can be bribed too. So it's basically in line with the people who say, let's leave it to God, and people who say God will judge them. Peter Agboga says, hmm, all the institutions have, above have failed us over and over again when we needed them the most to restore integrity into the public sector. But as our elders say, you cannot throw the baby away with bath water. I would like Parliament to handle it. And if possible, the process should be telecast live. I am believing something good can still come from them. And if you follow that discussion with Mr. Joe Wittal, head of SWAT, he did mention that this is one of the ways that you would make the process transparent, is to put it out there for people, just like the Public Accounts Committee sittings have been uh, uh, recorded over the time, that if you put it out there, it will in, in bring back, let's say, the confidence of the public in the institutions uh, and to make them accept whatever outcome as transparent uh, one. Sambedi Akua Santi says none of them is capable of doing any proper investigation. Call for interparty committee comprising one each from the mentioned groups. Okay, so it's basically saying uh, all the, 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 the institutions that we mentioned, uh, the IOCO, the BNI, the police, parliament itself, you should have representative from there and then add representative from the GJA, the Ghana Bar Association, the Christian Council of Ghana, and a member of the Muslim groupings. With this, an excellent investigation will be done. It's a very interesting point you made, Sam Bediako Asante. And let me take this last uh, point. He says, uh, comment says, Amda Yesida says, none of the above and not even the yet to be established office of the independent prosecutor, our politicians have managed to cripple all our institution. Their strategy is working for them like crazy. Wisdom, Ehotep Wokutu says, Anas, he's the only person majority of Ghanaians will trust to investigate such a case. And already some are calling for the CIA. Some are saying that let's go uh, Antoine Yama. Some are saying that, you know, let's consult some deity. And they, they believe that that's the only way to get the truth. Because if you follow their discussion, it's basically been accusations after accusation, counter accusations, back and forth. Right now, we follow the discussion between um, Al Hassan Suhini and Titus Glover, members of parliament, on the one on the majority side, one on the minority side. The one on the majority side says, well, this is a waste of our time. This is a waste of our time and it is an entirely minority issue because the minority seems to be fighting among themselves. And so let's leave it at that. The, uh, Al Hassan Suini on the minority side, by the way, says, well, we've got to investigate this matter and bring the uh, perpetrator or culprits to, to book. So it's really interesting because as of now, we don't know who is telling the truth and who is lying to the people. But corruption, of course, has been an issue that has come up over and over again as far as Parliament is concerned. Alban Bagwin has said something about it. And of course, uh, after, uh, after, after he made the, that comment, um, there, there were concerns. And he came out to say that, well, he's been misquoted or he's been misunderstood. But then also, uh, 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 Mr. Amidu has come out to say something about that, etc. So 
the, the level of confidence in Parliament to investigate itself and come out with an objective outcome is really under threat. Now, here is what we put together after all the comments that we put together, uh, that we sampled on social media. I'm talking about Facebook here. Why do you, who do you trust to investigate the voting bribery scandal in Parliament? And so we put it all together. We've got Parliament, Shraj, Yoko, BNI, the court, and by spiritual means. Um, Parliament came up with 7%. Only seven, only uh, seven percent uh, of the people or the answers that we got represent uh, a certain level of trust in Parliament to be able to investigate itself and be objective. Shraj came up with ten percent. So basically, the re responses based on the responses that we have, ten percent of the people who answered think that Shraj should do this job. Ioko has got five percent, only five percent. Uh, the BNI. Um, I can't see that properly, but let's say that's one percent. Okay, BNI had five percent, just five percent for BNI. The courts had one percent, so basically telling you that people are not really uh, interested in hearing the courts on this. But Joe Vital has explained to us, of course, that the courts won't necessarily have to come in this. It is the Schwarz, and so but that Schwarz, of course, has got only. Um, uh, ten percent uh, by spiritual means, <laughs> and we're talking about you know consulting all the things that you know. Antoine Nyama uh, talk about the Nogopos and talk about all of the things, and those who are saying let's give it to God and allow God to judge them, they carry the majority, and we're looking at the seventy-two, a whopping seventy-two percent. 72% of people think that we should leave it to God or we should consult uh, all the traditionalists or all the deities that we, 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 uh, our traditionalists believe in to give us the truth. It is only then that the truth will come out. But it's interesting. So we've got the lowest being 1%, which was uh, the courts, the lowest being the courts for 1%, and the highest being by, being by spiritual means, which is 72%. Very interesting comments. Um, on social media that is our special pulse for on social media and it got me smiling <laughs>